Hey guys, so I was chatting to somebody the other day about um, the appeal or the attractiveness of op uh, open source operating systems. You know, why, why use FreeBSD? What, what's so good about FreeBSD? How does it help me get my work done? And uh, there are quite a number of reasons why I love it, but one of the main reasons is that as a, as a working professional, as somebody who uh, has an online business, I... I'm always looking for ways to do things a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. And I find that FreeBSD is the best operating system for me to be able to do that. Um, so I have about, I have five WordPress installations, five WordPress sites, three of which are high traffic. Um, one of those sites has about 15,000 active members. So I need a way to be able to manage those members and, um, and create new content rapidly because I have to put out at least three blog posts per week on three different websites. So it's a lot of work. There's a lot involved. Um, I need to do it quickly and I need to do it automatic as automatically as I can. I won't go into the whole um, the WordPress stuff today because there's that that's I could probably do a whole series on that. Um, but what I uh, what I thought I'd just show you really quick uh, really quickly um, is how I do how I do my blog posts and that is using Vim as a distraction free editor. So um, I do all my blog posts in Markdown. So if I do like, um, let's say I just got one.md. Um, yeah. So I'll just uh, I'll zoom in. Uh, full screen it, okay. So I have a couple of plugins, couple of conventional plugins that you might have heard of before. One is Goyo. Okay, that centers the text in the middle of the screen. Another one is Limelight. Um, Limelight just, uh, what it does is it just highlights the line that you're working on and dims the other ones. So it's just kind of a focus. Um, it doesn't really have any practical use other than um, helping you focus a little more, bit more. So what I'll do is, uh, this is a heading. Um, this is an introduction subheading, um, this is a bullet point, another one, this is italic and, I mean you probably know markdown so I'm not showing anything new here, uh, text, okay so, so I've, I've got a written a, a 2000 word markdown article here, post, um, Another thing, oh sorry, I should say too, I don't know if you can see this because I'm probably in the way, down in the left corner there, but um, if you're doing a full screen thing like this, distraction free, full screen, you want to do set no, I think it's set no show mode, yeah that's right, because that just stops anything from popping up down the bottom so you don't get this, uh, I, don't even, I don't even know if you can see that because I'm probably down in the left corner there blocking it, um, just it gets rid of any... Um, any status text like insert uh, and then another one is um, and this is a, a, a another plugin that I had to install through NPM it's called instant markdown preview and when you run that it has to be an MD file it has to be a markdown file it will actually open up a browser so this is my cute browser here um, it actually shows you a, a HTML uh, preview of what your post will look like and that sometimes I'll have that side by side with my um, Vim editor. Uh, I usually keep it on a separate, a separate tag or a separate. Um, uh, I don't even know what you call it. A separate tag anyway. Um, so I keep them separate from each other, so so I don't have to keep looking at that. So anyway, there we go. So I I've written my blog post. I save it as one MD, whatever. Okay, and then I run a. Um, I run a, a, a script called Markdown PY here. You know, just um, and what that does is it converts my Markdown file to HTML. Okay, so it'll it'll turn 1.md to 1.html. So now I've got that. If I open up 1.html, you can see there it's it's turned that Markdown article into a HTML file, and it's ready for posting. Then what I'll do, and I'm not going to do the rest of this here because I can't, I don't want to show it to you right now. Um, I will SCPL, SSH copy that HTML file to my WordPress server 
um, and on there, I, on the WordPress server, I will create using WP CLI a, a new blog post. I'll set the metadata, tags, categories, um, and it's basically posted. So I never have to log into WordPress. I never have to use the WordPress um, uh, backend, the, um, the browser admin dashboard. I never have to do that. I can do all kinds of management um, and, and content creation via the terminal just like this. And so that's, that's really the main, the primary uh, thing that I, the uh, reason why I use this for my work. Um, and what I'll do is, like I said, I have a few WordPress installations. I'll often have um, all of my sites running in these different terminals like this. So it's, um, I'm able to just get tons of work done without even leaving this page, without being distracted. Um, it's totally distraction free. Um, as you can see, I have, and, and I'll show you more of my workflow later on, but you know, I have you know, scripts that show me my, my sales for the day. Um, you know, this is, this is kind of how I like to operate, and this is why I love FreeBSD. I love that I'm able to do this. I love that I'm able to customize anything that I want um, and, and achieve pretty much anything that I, that, that I can, um, within my ability, within my coding ability, scripting ability, um, yeah, whatever I'm, I'm able to do, I'm, whatever I want to do, I'm able to do, you know, and, and with all this too, um, you know, it's amazing what you can achieve by creating one simple script, you know, all this conversion, um, the conversion, the uploading to the server, the creating a new blog post, all of that can be done in one script. So you have one script, um, you might just call it post.sh, and, uh, and everything is done automatically. So, and so that's one, one reason why, or the, probably the main reason why I use, uh, why I choose this operating system. And it's, it's fantastic. I, I strongly urge business professionals and, and people with online businesses, sites, uh, WordPress users, um, honestly, just, just learn it. Le uh, learn how to do this and, and, and consider it because you'll get so much more done. And uh, yeah, thanks guys.